Welcome to Kinder Church. If you are four, five, or six years old, we've designed this lesson especially for you. And if you live in Winnipeg or you live in Calgary, we would love to have you out to one of our in-person services. And at those services, we do so many fun things like snack, crafts, and super fun, awesome games. You will love them, I promise. Now, one of the things we like to do here at Kinder Church is we love to laugh. And we spell a little bit funny. We spell it L for love. We love each other just like Jesus loved us. The A stands for accept. Everybody's different, so we wanna accept each other for our differences. And the last letter is F, which stands for forgive. We make mistakes and we wanna make sure we forgive one another. All right, that being said, I need everybody to stand up all the way up. Come on, off the couch, get up. And we are going to do some praise and worship. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult Because you're with me, with me. I am not afraid Nothing is too hard for you Hello everyone, it's memory verse time. Let's practice the verse of the month together. And I have some actions to show you how to do it. All right, let's go. Here's what it looks like. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, six. All right, you guys, are you ready to do it with me? Let's do it together. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Way to go, you guys. Let's do it all together one more time. Here we go. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Oh, super duper job, you guys. It is it's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you.
I love my super kid costume because when I'm wearing it, I can do super big things. Stuff like, I can be a super thinker. You can be a super thinker with me. Ready? Think, think, think. Wow, great thinking everyone. With my super kids costume, I can do big things like lifting towers of dirty dishes in both hands to the dishwasher and beyond. I can even rescue wild animals. Be free, little one. Hmm, what other super things can I do? Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who, who? Doing lots of big things, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm thinking of all the super stuff I can do when I'm a super kid. It's fun to be super. It's true. I know who made you to do big things. Who, who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who, who? Follow me through. Is this one? Or is this the best one to use? <laughs> oh, hola friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. <laughs> I'm working on a big job later today, and I'm trying to choose the very best screwdriver to use. <laughs> Sometimes it's so hard to choose. That reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders! Ready! Uno! Dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yup, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Samuel. God told Samuel that he was going to pick the next king. So Samuel went to this house because one of the brothers would be the next king. Now, if you were looking for a king, you'd probably want someone hmm, really smart, right? Like this guy, or hmm, someone strong like him. Hmm, or someone older with experience. Hmm? Or maybe someone like uh, this guy. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. Phew. Samuel knew that choosing the next king was a big job. He also knew that God made him to do big things. He trusted that God would help him find the next king. So Samuel looked at all the brothers, but God didn't choose any of them. Hmm. Samuel asked Jesse, the father of the house, if there were any more brothers. Jesse said there was one more brother that wasn't home yet. He was out in the field watching over the sheep. Send for him, Samuel said. We will not sit down until he comes. So the brothers waited and waited and waited until finally their brother, David, came home. <laughs> Wait a minute. David's just a kid. He's so young. Do you think he can be the next king? Let's see. God told Samuel that David should be the next king. Well, not because of the way David looked on the outside, but because of his heart on the inside. David loved God with all his heart. And that's what God wanted for the new king. Samuel listened to God and told David that God made him to do big things. God wanted him to be king when he was older. <laughs> wow! God chose David to be king and lead all the people. 
David was going to be in charge one day. He was going to be the next king. <laughs> that is awesome. Samuel knew that God made him to do the big job of choosing the next king. And he knew God made David to be king and lead the people when he got older. God made us to do big things too. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. <laughs> So there's your story, and it's all true. God made David to do big things, and he made us to do big things too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, God made David to do big things. God made me to do big things too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! I'm ready to be a super kid! Whatever the day brings, God made me to do big things. See you later, super kids! I'm off! Dun 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 dun! dun. Our Bible story today was about how God had big things for David to do. Do you guys remember what big things God had planned for David? That's right. God planned for David to be king, which is so cool. Now, today I'm also planning to do something really big, but it's not quite as big as being king. Today, I'm going on a hike. Have you guys ever been on a hike? Yeah, some of you, some of you not. If you've never been on one, it's basically like a really long nature walk where you walk through the trees, sometimes you climb up mountains, some people hike through the rainforest, some people like to hike through the desert. So it's a really long walk where you get to see really cool things. Now, my hike today is kind of special. Do you guys want to help me with my hike? Yeah, well, for my hike, we are following a map. Now. You guys can see the map. Do you guys see where David is? Yeah, you see him? Well, we have to get from David, that's where we're starting, all the way over to the crown on the other side. Do you guys see the crown? Perfect. Do you guys think you can help me with my hike to get from David all the way to the crown? Awesome, let's do it. You guys ready? Put on your best hiking shoes and we're gonna march, let's go. Do you see the pictures along the way? Oh look, I see a boy carrying groceries. Did you guys know that the boy carrying groceries is kind of like a helper and you guys can be helpers too. That's really cool. Here, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can see. There's a child praying. Did you guys see David pray in our Bible story today? Yeah, you did. And just like David prayed to God, did you guys know you can talk to God too? Yeah, you can. That is so cool. Wow, these pictures are really awesome. Let's see what else we can find. Let's go. Uh-oh, I think we took a, lot, a wrong turn and we got lost. Let's, let, let's turn around, you guys ready? Whoop. And let's walk the other way. Do you see that child giving a fist bump? Wow, that is so kind. And just like David was kind in our Bible story, you guys can be kind too, by giving your friends fist bumps or just being kind to one another. All right, I think we're almost there. We're almost at the crown, so let's just keep going a little bit more. Let's march. Oh, here's a friend giving a hug. Do you guys think that giving a hug is something really nice to do? Yeah, it's a really nice way to show our friends that we care about them. And you guys can do that anytime. All right, we're almost at the end of our maze. Let's keep going. I think there's one more picture we have to pass. Make sure to turn. Let's not go the wrong way again. 
We're almost there. I can see the crown. Wow, guys, we made it. Thank you so much for your help. We found the crown, which is so cool. Now, we talked a lot about David along the way on our hike. And did you guys know that David didn't know the big things that God had planned for him when he was tending to sheep? But David did it anyways. And just like sometimes me and you don't know the big things that God has planned for us, but we can continue to do what we know is right and what Jesus says is right and following his ways. And did you guys know that God has amazing big things planned for you and for me? Just like he had big things planned for David. And when we choose to partner with God and treat people with kindness and be helpers, we get to do really big things. I never want you guys to forget this week. If you're thinking about the story of David, think about how you can do big things just like David did. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you so much for all of the amazing kids who are listening to me today. I thank you that you created them so special and you made them with a specific purpose so that they could do big things. I thank you that you're going with them wherever they go this week and you're helping them have courage to do those big things. I thank you for this in Jesus' name, amen. Have you ever gotten in a fight with your parents? Maybe they told you that you couldn't go to your friend's house, so you got in a big argument with them. When you were fighting with them, did you feel like you weren't close to them anymore? Probably, but you made up and things felt right again. Well, that's kind of similar about what we're talking about today, salvation. So, what is salvation? Salvation is a fancy word for getting right with God. But wait, who said anything was wrong? Well, do you remember that thing called sin? Sin is doing bad things that hurt us and others. It's the opposite of what God wants, and it separates us from Him. And every person has a sin problem, so that's why we need to get right with God. So, how do we do it? We get saved when we believe in Jesus. It's that easy. Did you think you had to do something silly, like pay back for your sins or jump through hoops? Nope, there's nothing you have to do to work for salvation. It's a free gift when we put our trust in Jesus. 
Salvation is simple for us, but it wasn't so simple for Jesus. Jesus paid to save us when he died on the cross. You've probably heard that before, but that's the most important thing that's ever happened. Someone had to live a perfect life without sin. And then had to die on the cross to pay for all other sin. And that someone was Jesus. And he was the only one who could do it, because he is God. So he died and was buried in a tomb, but three days later, he rose again. Jesus bought our salvation by giving up his life. Thanks, Jesus. Anyone can make a personal decision to be saved. Believing in Jesus isn't a decision your parents, grandparents, or kids' church teachers can make for you. Memory verse. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. If you want to start that relationship with Jesus, we're going to all pray together. And you just need to repeat the words after me. So let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and repeat this prayer after me. It goes like this. Dear Jesus, I want you to come into my life. I believe in you. Please forgive me. Help me grow every day and be more like you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. In Jesus' name, amen. That is so awesome. If you just made that decision today for the first time, congratulations. I am so excited for you. Now, if you need a Bible or you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us by emailing us at kids at springchurch.com or reaching out to us on any of our social media. Make sure that you tell a parent or an adult of this exciting decision you just made. Well, it's been so awesome hanging out with you guys today. Thank you for coming and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.